Okay. So again, what causes what causes the electric current to flow? Right? This time round, we need to know the energy needed to drive the electric charge through the light bulb. For specifically for this example, through the light bulb. Again, this term is what you commonly known in primary school as voltage. But now I'm going to introduce this term known should be known to you as potential difference, sometimes written as PD. Okay. And energy needed to drive one coulomb of electric charge through one bulb and another 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 uh, well another magnitude of energy needed to drive through another bulb right and that's why I have two bulbs drawn here okay so what's the energy needed to drive through a one column of positive charge to drive a one column of positive charge through a component and that actually is your definition of potential difference right and note here through an electrical component if you look at the definition for potential difference is very similar to electromotive force right but for electromotive force is around a complete circuit for potential difference is through an electrical component so actually for potential difference it is where the electrical component converts the electrical energy to other forms of energy and in this case in this specific example shown here is convert electrical energy to light energy right so this is where the energy is converted from electrical to other forms of energy through an electrical component and again work done to drive one coulomb which is charge and hence we have again very similar to electromotive force but this time round it's potential difference equals work done over charge and in short we can also represent the potential difference as v okay so v equals w over q and in this case And in this case, W equals work done, SI unit is juice, Q equals flow of electric charge, SI unit is coulombs, and V. But this time around, V refers to potential difference, and your SI unit is volts. So for potential difference, V equals W over Q. I'm going to write it beside your EMF formula, and you will notice that is basically the same except V will represent uh, two different things is either electromotive force or potential difference so this will address what causes electric current to flow okay finally how much electric current actually flows through a circuit and that will greatly depend on the resistance of the electrical component that we are talking about right resistance refers to how much opposition the electric current will actually face and the definition will be resistance is the ratio okay resistance is the ratio okay i highlight this ratio of potential difference across the component to the electric current flowing through it right maybe just refresh your memory a little bit 
in maths, you learn ratio of A to B. So it's the same as A over B, right? Ratio of A to B is the same as A over B. So here, the ratio of potential difference across the component to the current flowing through it. So potential difference is your V, electric current is I. So when you say resistance is the ratio of V to I. So it's a ratio of V to I. So that'll give you V over I. And hence we have resistance equals potential difference over current. In short, R equals V over I, where V refers to the potential difference, which SI unit is volts, we covered that earlier. I refer to electric current, the SI unit is ampere, we also covered that earlier. R is new, right? R refers to the resistance, which is which the SI unit is ohm. I'll draw the SI unit bigger, right? Ohm. The omega symbol. Okay, so so you have v r equals v over i, and in summary, these are your three basic formula. There's some more coming. There's some more formula coming, but here are three basic ones to get you started. Okay, so that's the end of the video for introducing the basic terminology. Bye.